okay so i am going for this chow test so y is alpha 1 plus alpha 2 dt plus beta 1 xt plus beta 2 dt xt plus ut so clearly i would be changing the slope as can be seen from here and i be changing the intercept as can be seen from here so for 1982 my equation becomes alpha 1 plus alpha 2 instead of dt i put 1 plus beta 1 Plus beta two instead of dt again put one xt. If you can see this, for nineteen seventy eighty one my equation becomes alpha one plus beta one xt putting d equal to zero. Now notice I am changing the inter intercept term also and I am changing the slope also. So basically the interaction term, interaction of covariate and dummy actually changed the slope. And, and I now have concurrent lines. The slope also changed, and uh, the sorry, the slope also changed, and the intercept also changed. Right. So I have these lines. So now what am I saying is that okay, I have two lines. So what do I have to check? I have to check whether this differential intercept and whether this differential slope or slope drifter. the two things are significant or not so all that i have to check is whether there is the significance of beta 2 is this significant using t test and is this alpha 2 significant using t test okay so my null can be alpha equal to 0 and alternative can be alpha not equal to 0 similarly my here null can be beta 2 equal to 0 An alternative can be beta two not equal to zero because I'm not so sure about the direction that whether within after you know savings have actually although I assume that okay in a country savings should actually increase over time but still if you're not sure about the sign that whether savings should actually increase or decrease you can actually use a two tail test right okay so coming forward I now talk I want to talk about the interaction between the dumb Right. So y hat is equal to alpha one plus alpha two d two y alpha three d three. Everything is the same. Look here. Here I am introducing interactions between the dummies. So now where will this be useful? So supposedly I have a data which says this is the data on north, and I have a data on east. This is the data on east. But see, I want to find out what happens if a person belongs to northeast. That is, he is also in a part of north. He is also in a part of east. So in that case, I'll have to put both equal to one. That means there has to be some extra effect, additional effect. So supposedly a company is northeast region. Then it is possible that the company is following some rules of the north and some rules of the east. And as a result, the salary of the person has a cross effect. Of being in north and east region together, so when I have to show such an effect of interaction of the dummies, I will use product of the dummies. So taking the book example, supposedly I want to have two dummies. One is gender, and one is race. So I say, okay, D two I is one if male, and zero is fe if female, and I want to check out what wages hap what happens to the wages. With gender and with race, and I also want to keep the slope constant. That okay, as education increases, the wage on an average will increase by beta units, irrespective of whether you're male, female, white, or black. If education is increasing, your wage should increase. So I say okay, D two I is one if male, zero is female, and D three I is one if white and zero if non-white, and then I say okay. I want to find out the average wage of a white female. So white female would mean I would put d two i equal to zero. I would put d three i equal to one. So this is zero. This is one, and I know that product of zero into one is zero. So my average wage of a white female is alpha one. Plus alpha three plus beta xi. Similarly, you can.